So I want to do a quick overview of this projector, its pros and cons. I have it set up on a tripod right now and uh, played some cartoons for the kids. Uh, basically, I'm going to stay quiet for a second so you can hear the fan noise while it's running. Now when nothing's playing, it kind of sounds loud, but then as soon as you start playing something, it really is uh, not noticeable. So I'm going to just play some cartoon here. And uh, that sound was coming from the projector speaker, and I found them to be very usable in a, in a room where, you know, three or four people are watching. Uh, it's uh, much better than my laptop speakers. Right now, I have about four pot lights behind me that I'm going to turn off so that you can see what it looks like, uh, the quality looks like in the dark. And I am quite impressed by how good uh, the quality is, to be honest. I've had uh, much more expensive projectors that are obviously better, but for 15, 10, 15 times the cost at $1,500, $2,000, uh, they are not 10 times better. So for kids, I, I think uh, for kids use or PowerPoint presentation or just kind of having a uh, movie night with the kids, it's awesome. It's so small and portable and you can move it anywhere. Um, I do want to run through a couple of things though. Like if you go to menu, you can change color, temperature, you can change color mode, picture mode, a um, couple of other things, sound mode. So I put it on movie, which sounds much better than the other modes like music, um, picture mode. Uh, you know, it doesn't really make sense, but you just try a few. So I found medium to be really good. If I change it to vivid, it gets brighter. Oops. Um, if I change it to vivid, it gets brighter, but it kind of washes things out. Uh, so I would recommend using uh, vivid only if you're doing like a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. You need the brightness. Otherwise, you can change your own. Or I just used uh, medium, and that I found to be the most accurate. Okay, I'm going to turn the lights on and go through a, around the projector. So... Uh, you basically have an IR on the back, IR receiver, power on one side, and you have uh, all your ports here. HDMI works. I haven't tried the headphones or USB. I did try to use the Wi-Fi, and it gives you Android screen mirroring option or iPhone. I have a Pixel phone, which doesn't seem to be compatible with the mirroring, so you might have better luck with a Samsung Android. Um, otherwise, HDMI was what I wanted to use it for, and that works great. Uh, one thing I will say is like the power cord is way too short. It's probably only three feet, so I had to get an extension uh, up here. Uh, but it's a very standard power cord, so you can probably just get extension if you need to. Over here, you have a couple of buttons um, to change basically all the settings. And then you have focus and keystone. And it's pretty nice to have a physical keystone and not just digital. So you can, you know, if you're off angle, you can adjust it. The adjustment isn't huge, but it's enough on a tripod to make it work. Um, one thing yeah, I did notice is that sort of the black piece of plastic that comes just fell right off. It doesn't really do anything, so it's fine by me. Uh, uh, I'm just going to glue it back on, but it did fall off. But, you know, it doesn't have functional purpose other than holding the cap. Uh, and I'll give you a quick look at the front as well. Um, but that's it. Uh, I'm happy with my purchase for the price. Uh, most importantly, I'm very impressed with the uh, picture quality. Um, it does have Bluetooth, so uh, I plan on getting uh, some la larger Bluetooth speakers connected to it just to test it out and see what that feels like. Uh, maybe go in the backyard, but the internal speakers are perfectly adequate for a projector in a quiet room. Thanks for watching.